what's going on youtube jeans here hope you guys are having an amazing day today we are back bringing you guys part nine for my playthrough on pokemon brilliant diamond and pokemon shine and pearl for the nintendo switch so guys in the last episode we made our way all the way to vile so town and completed the third gym and in today's video we are heading down this route i don't even know what this route's called route 214 and making our way towards pastoria city where the fourth gym is so maybe we'll be doing the fourth gym in today's video we'll see it depends how quick we can get there but if you guys are excited for today's video make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button seriously you guys are amazing thank you for all the support that has been going out across the channel but first things first i want to see if there's any new pokemon in this grass i want to see if there's any new pokemon in this grass i'm pretty sure there's really not that big of a change of pokemon or wild pokemon in the grass so i'm not really going to bother with it too much and this ponyta will not let us escape and we still have a togepi on level 34 i want to evolve this thing so bad luckily the next gym is water so maybe just maybe this thing can run it with shockwave because we do have shockwave on him maybe we can run it with shockwave and get some good levels out of that and uh you know evolve our togepi if not we might have to go back to amenity square and you know get some puffins man puffins could be good puffins could do us do us good here but we're gonna burst off with this trainer we got collector douglas and now rosalia 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 i think it's rosalia but we're sending out our main man togepi over here loving this pokemon so much and i think we're just gonna start slapping up on this thing with a double edge even though we do take recoil damage look at that togepi yes sir oh come on man what you mean <laughs> starting off this video with a poison come on man doing me dirty doing me so dirty magic leaf's gonna fly through togepi says yo that's a tasty snack that's what togepi says he licks his fingers that's how tasty the snack was um i believe dazzling gleam should be able to pick up the ko it's not very effective but it is stab and it does indeed beautiful good work togepi that's how it's done that's how it's done now do we keep togepi out here or do we swap let's see what pokemon he throws out here Houndoom, shiny Houndoom, the level 32, let's get it. Togepi is just like almost the highest level, but I will not stop until this thing is evolved. I want it to evolve so bad. I've been trying to actually evolve it since like episode, like when we caught it, what was it? Episode like three, I was just like, okay, this shouldn't take too long. And now we are just constantly grinding levels for this Pokemon. I have some buddies and some people who watch the streams that are like, yo, I evolved like a friendly Pokemon in like three levels. Like, why can't you evolve this thing? But yo. It's tough. It's a rough road here. But speaking of streams, if you guys want to catch extra content from me, head down to the link in the description below. There's a link down there. Or the name is right on this layout, Jeans25 on Twitch. We've been streaming basically every day, putting in a couple hours in this game. We are now at post game, so we're doing team building, uh, shiny hunting, collecting the Pokedex, all that good stuff, and breeding stuff. So if you guys are interested in that, head down to the link in the description below. And we're also building teams with fans. So, like, people are helping me build teams, all that good stuff. But, uh... We got Roselia, and also over on stream, everybody likes to trade around there. So if you guys are looking for Pokemon to trade with, or like get Pokemon for your Pokedex, head over to that stream. Head over to that stream. But uh, Roselia is gonna, or Roselia is gonna go down here. We're gonna put on that flamethrower. But yo, I love the nature that we got for this. Thing. Nice little modest nature for this thing. We'll make this thing special attacking, and we'll get rocking out from there. But uh, Collector Douglas, give me your money. Give me y'all money. Even though there is a way to actually get like unlimited money or like the quickest way to get money, I probably do have a guide already up on the channel. So if you haven't checked out the guide yet, definitely go check it out. It's a great video. It is a great video. But we gotta heal up our one and only Togi. Togi Wogi over here is poison. And we don't like that. We don't like that. Let's shop an and do it on that. And let's get it moving. So we could actually keep going this way, which I actually do wanna do. There is a few trainers right here, which I should go first just to get the XP, all that good stuff. And there's a Pokeball up at the top of the screen. So I definitely gotta go get that as well. And there's one below. Gotta make sure we get all that and make sure we make our way to that gym. But I'm thinking we can beat that gym in today's video. Because like I've been saying, like the next few gyms are just like back to back to back to back. You just do the quick route, you hit the gym. You do the next quick route, you hit the gym all the way up to like 7. And then the 7 route to get the gym 7 is long. It is very long. But let's see if we can actually take out the Sheldon. It has high defense, but I don't think his special defense is that high. That's decently high. It's decently high. And this thing's going to taunt me. But we're still going to use Togi as much as we can. Because like I said, we need the levels. We absolutely need these levels for a second. Give me a toga to go in. I can teach you aerial ace. I can, I can just do so much more with it. He's going to iron defense boost. And we're just going to keep hitting it with the shockwave. I'm actually really glad we did find shockwave. And we bought that some at the mall. The mall has such good TMs. Because like toga kiss or to toga pee before this was just awful. It just had ancient power with five. You can only use it five times. So chances are I'm killing like one Pokemon and that's it. But yo, Sheldon and Abashon such a cool Pokemon. But it's so not good. It is so not good. It has high defense stats, but like you just throw out a special attacker, it is going to dump on it all day. It's going to dump on it all day. Alongside with that thing has like no like attack stat whatsoever, so it doesn't hit hard. 
So its defense is really just going to waste. It's just a tank. I mean, if it had like follow me or something, then it could be pretty good. But it doesn't. It does not. But let's head down here and talk to this guy. What's up, Billy Bob Joseph? What's up, dog? Let me let me slap up on you with my Togepi. My almost level 35 Togepi. Collector Jamal. Just send out a Buizel. No, this is money. Togepi should get some one shots in here. He should get some one shots in here. Let's throw him out here. Get Rocky. They should have made Togepi like shiny. They should have made him like a totally different color. They should have made him like solid gold. How sick would that be? A solid gold egg? Bro, that would be fire. That would be fire. Or kind of like shiny Charizard's colors. Like that uh, black with like a tint of like kind of like reddish in it. Togepi and Togekiss could look sick with that. Especially with like the little egg design on it. Like the little triangles. I think that can look awesome. I think this guy's just constantly sending out Buizel. So that works out perfectly for us. That works out perfectly for us. Keep sending these shockwaves. And we're going to get rolling. Tail whip. Yo, can we evolve? Like, yo, if I don't evolve this thing this episode, I'm going to be very upset. If we don't evolve them and we're, like, close to a level at the end of this video, I'm going to go make puffins with this thing. And then go level them up and try it that way. We'll see how that works out. We will see how that works out. But let's just keep battling. Keep doing this. People do say if you just keep this thing in the top of your party and, uh, and run around with it, it is the best way to do it. It is the best way to do it. And that's what we've been doing. Maybe we've been swapping them out a little bit, but maybe that maybe that's might be our downfall. That could be our downfall is that we're swapping him out of that front spot. We should always leave him in that front spot. I get swapping him out in battle, that's okay, but I think leave him in that front spot even when we're running around is the play to do. It's the play to do. So let's just keep him up there. Keep battling with my boy. He is finally able to handle his own. So it is fine. We don't really have to swap him out as much as we used to. We used to always have to be like, hey, yo, Togepi, you gotta get back here or you're dead. <laughs> it was just like a constant battle over there. Let's head up to this guy, battle this guy, and just keep going. And just keep going. So I think we basically did a lot of the trainers on the right side down to the uh, the town, past the city. Now we're just headed back up here, defeating all these trainers, and then going from there. Let's have a Cranidos. A lovely little Cranidos, and I think all my moves are going to be not very effective. Except for Electric. I think Electric can do a, do a, do a tad bit. And I think we're just going to keep fighting this thing. Mold Breaker's going to pop, and yeah, ooh, that's some Gleam Stab. I'd rather use Dazzle and Gleam, get that stab damage rolling. Get after it, do half. Or just kill it. Togepi broken. Togepi ripping on Cranidos. I really do like Cranidos and Rampardos. I think they're really cool Pokemon. I think they are. Bronzer is going to pop out here. I'm going to switch. I'm going to switch into my Houndoom. Togepi, you can come out for the next one. You can come out for the next one. I just want to one-tap this thing and roll out. So we, we have two options here. We can go for a Bite or a Flamethrower. We're definitely going to go for a Flamethrower because, you know, Bronzor and Bronzong is a heavy defense Pokemon. And I cannot wait to make actually a good Trick Room team with Bronzong. You can roll out with Bronzong and Togekiss. Just run, follow me. Set up that Trick Room and you can get after it. You can get after it. It'd be lovely. It'd be a lovely little team right there. It'd be a lovely little team. But I've been thinking about like strong competitive Pokemon for this game. Garchomp's going to be a beast. You do have Tyranitar in this game. Tyranitar's going to be really good. And then you can also have Rotom Wash and Rotom Heat. They're going to be very, very strong. Togekiss, I think, is going to be top tier. Togekiss is going to be top tier in this meta. And uh, who else is there? Who else could be? I feel, I feel like Infernum can hold its own and do a little bit of work. But there are going to be a few better Pokemon. As you know, I think uh, what's called has a higher speed stat than a Garchomp might. And Garchomp with that Ground and Dragon typing just does a lot of people dirty. Does a lot of people dirty. But yeah, there are a few absolute bangers of Pokemon that you can use in this game. But yeah, the Rotoms are going to shine. Togekiss, uh, Garchomp, Tyranitar is going to shine. Really, really good all-around Pokemon. And I feel like Azumarill could be solid. That fairy and, and water typing. Huge power. Especially paired up with Togekiss. That can do people dirty. And then that belly jump setup. Ooh. Cannot wait to do online battles for you guys. Cannot wait. Hopefully you guys are ready for them. Because we are going to be pumping out that content very, very soon. Very, very soon. Uh, let's keep moving down this route. Uh, we're just going to use this uh, rock smash here. Go away from the grass. Like I said, there's nothing really in the grass that we, that we want or like that is new. A lot of Pokemon in this grass is just like the same. The same old, same old. But we can head into this cave right here. And if you head over to this cave, there is a Pokeball. And I think this is more of a post-game thing. We do get Dig, which is awesome. And if you talk to this guy, I feel like he doesn't really say much. Let's see. Everyone calls me the Ruin Maniac. I do not care what they call me. I'll just keep chipping away at the rock wall little by little. But I'm pretty sure that, like, after you beat the game and you go in the post-game, if you come back here, like, the cave's, like, open. He, like, dug it all away. And it's pretty sick. I do like it. I do like it. We're going to run around, run through this grass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I didn't want to use Rock Smash again. And now we're just going to keep heading on our route. Togepi, can you keep up, buddy? There he is. Yo, love my Togepi. I love how he, like, walks around, yo. He does, like, a waddle. It's kind of funny. And we have to get these Pokeballs here. 
Max Potion, and there was another one back there that I was saying that I want. Well, let's see what Pokemon's ripping in here. Probably Ponitas, right? Ponita, baby! What's good? I love Ponita. Such a cool Pokemon. I was gonna go Ponita for my Fire type, but Houndoom just has that Dark typing in him. And yo, Togepi can't run away. Yo, what is up with Togepi not being able to run away? Like, yo, assert your dominance. I know you're little, but you are so much stronger than these guys. Like, they're level 23. And we can't run Togepi! Get on that, baby. Get on that. Don't make me heal you up again. Don't make me heal you up again. Run. Thank you, Togi. You the best. You the best. But there should be another Pokeball up here, which I really want to grab. It's going to be, ooh, this way. We went the wrong way. We went the wrong way. Let's loop around here. And let's grab it. Come here. Come here. What we got here? Nice little big, ooh, a big root. That's really good for moves that give you HP back, such as like a Pokemon's Rocky Drain Punch or your grass Pokemon that are using like Giga Drain and all that good stuff. But that is the end of the route. We head up the Valor Lakefront right here. And is it open yet? Nope. We got the scientist standing in front of it at this time. And we're not allowed in there. So we make our way. Ooh, Pokeball. Paralyzed Seal. Dope. We make our way to Pastora City. And is a gym down here? Or we might have to do another route. We might have to do another route. What's up, lady? What am I do? I go and drop my sweet key again. Blah, 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 blah. Baby, 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 baby. Can't go down to the right because that is the spot of, uh, that is towards the eighth gym. But we can just keep moving this way. And I don't think that the fourth gym is here. Oh, no. We're not even at the city yet. We're at, yeah, we're not even at the city yet. We have to keep moving throughout this route. So onward we go. I think there is like a healing station here. Isn't there like a bed or something? Can we just talk to him? Oh, hello. You wish to stay at night? I'm afraid we're totally booked. There you go. He just heals up our Pokemon. Awesome dope. So if you need a quick healing, just go there. But in the meantime, we're heading down the route. We're heading down the route 213. And Togepi might thrive here. Might thrive here. But I think it is a lot of water fighting. Hello, lady. Yep. We got a little bit of route left. We just head up this place. And then we can make our way towards the city. And I'm thinking we might be able to do the gym. We shall see. There is a few, a few trainers that we have to go through. So I guess, like I said, we'll definitely see. We will definitely see. But Biro's going to come out here. We got Shockwave ready to rip on these Pokemon. Let's do it. And they're pretty low level. We should just be able to, to go through it. Water Gun's going to fly. And this should give us a good amount of XP as well. Togepi, eat. No KO, but hey, we'll take that damage all day. Let's run another Shockwave. Another Water Gun popping. And yeah, but Biro, I just... But Biro and Badoof's design. Get it out of here, man. It is growing because they're like making it as like a meme. Like even the like Pokemon company knows that it's like a meme considering they put it in the what's it called as the HM slave. I just think that's so funny. It cracks me up. But there we go. Take out the tuber and we'll move on to the next opponent who is legit her brother. I think howdy. How you doing, buddy? You want to whoop him too? You didn't just see what we did to that chick up there. This guy has three. He has three. Probably carps or like tentacles. Shellos. Oh, we can't use ground moves on Shellos or electric moves on Shellos. It's ground. Son of a biscuit. Shellos, dude. What's up, Shelly? Oh, wait. We can. Oh, is this thing not ground yet? Sick. Sick. I thought it was ground. I thought it was ground already. Nope. When it evolves, it gets this ground move. I'll take that all day. We will take that all day. There, there we go. Use that. And now we can go into our shockwave again. I just finish him off. I wish we were able to one tap him. Togepi with the kill. Togepi with the kill. He's rocking out here. He's rolling. Oh, yeah, this is his route right now. It's actually technically it's Torterra's route. Torterra, Torterra would be able to just roll out here, but you know, we need this evolution. This episode is all about Togepi and trying to evolve him. But yeah, we need the Sooth Bell as soon as we can. I think you get the Sooth Bell like post game, I think. Or it might be after the fourth gym. It's either after the fourth gym or post game. Either or. Either or. I know that's like a big chunk difference, but I honestly totally forget where you get the Sooth Bell. I know it's in the Pokemon Mansion, I believe. But I forget where it's at. And that might be post game. But there's some chaos. He's going to throw out another Shellos. Another Shellos is coming out here. This dude just like collects Shellos. I feel like if, if, if you're going up against a trainer who has a lot of the same Pokemon, the final one should be like a shiny occasionally. Because they collect them so much, they should have a shiny, you know? I just think it'll be cool. Ancient Power is going to pop. He's throwing fossils at me. I think that's really cool how, like, in the early games where, like, animation wasn't that big, it would just be a bunch of rocks. But in the newer animation, it's, like, a bunch of fossils. And I really do like that animation. Just dig up fossils from the ground, huck them all at once. Really cool. But there's three big KOs by Togi. And almost a level up here. Almost a level up. So we give him a potion. 
I'm going to give Togi a potion. He's been grinding. He's been working hard. Let's give him this potion, and we're going to roll out. Togepi, follow me. We're going we're gonna to run this coastline. Look at him running, yo. It's so funny. I don't know if you see a fisherman John wants to fight. Nope, he just talks about a fancy restaurant, blah, blah, blah. And he doesn't want to battle. And we got this guy over here who wants to battle. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. But on my other game, I have like one more Pokemon to really catch. And that's Mesprint. And that thing is a pain to catch. It's an absolute pain to catch. It's always running in a bunch of different directions. And it's just awful. It's just awful to deal with. But this guy sent out a Magikarp. He has three Pokemon. Hopefully, it's not all Magikarp. I'd rather face some other water types. I wouldn't mind facing the Gyarados because Electric Moves are four times super effective. So, we do have somebody to take him out and we can get some big XP from Gyarados. But that should give us a level, right? Nope. Togepi needs one more kill. Gyarados, here it comes. Yo, Togepi taking out a Gyarados. This is worth an evolution. This is worth an evolution. He's going to intimidate me. It is all good. I don't think we're going to be able to one-tap it. But I wouldn't be surprised if we one-tap it because, again, four times super effective. It should be able to work. Ice Fang's going to pop. That's easy eats. And Shockwave flying. This move never misses. Get him out of here? Nope. But big old damage, yo. Togepi be doing some work. Drop another Shockwave. We are down to 10. I'm gonna drop a Waterfall. Waterfall can make us flinch, and that's big damage. Yes. Togepi taking out Gyarados. He's a monster. And like we were saying, uh, strong competitive Pokemon we were talking about in the beginning of the video, Gyarados is definitely gonna be up there. And Arcanine. Two Intimidate Pokemon that have a great move pool. I really do like it. He's about to send out Ramoraid. Togepi, you're staying out here. You are staying out here. Let's go, Togi. Let's do it. Let's do him in here. Built one hit. Yes. Togi's too strong. Togi's too strong. But yo, it's time to evolve, Togepi. Is this the last time we're going to be seeing you? Because you're evolving right here. Fisher Kenneth down. You're taking out Gyaradoses and you still haven't evolved? Come on, yo. Do it. Do it. Oh my lord, yo. What do you mean? Bro, I can't do it anymore. I can't do it with this Togi anymore. Oh, this guy is the, uh, he's the dude that, like, talks about your Pokemon and stuff. But, how you doing, lady? Let's chip up here. I think we are almost at the end of this route, so I'm thinking we do this gym. I'm thinking we do this next gym. We got Beauty Sydney over here. And I'm telling you, if my dude does not evolve by the end of this gym, we're going to make Puffins with him. I'm doing it. We're do Like, this is the last episode that we are having a Togepi. We are evolving this Pokemon. Togepi doesn't even outspeed this thing. He's going to growl up on me. Good thing we're special attacking. And we're going to rip up on this thing. But just know that our, our Togepi or Togetic or Togekiss at endgame is going to be a high level. This thing's almost level 40 at the fourth gym. He's just ripping. He's just ripping. Getting me an XP. Torterra's level 36. Loving it. Loving it. Beauty Sydney. Dead. Give me your money. I know you got some in that pocketbook right there. 1500. Thank you very much, sweetheart. Thank you very much. But I'll go here. Break this rock, grab this Pokeball, and that guy right there doesn't really do anything. He just says, like, oh, you can get up there. We're using Rock Climb. But we do not have Rock Climb yet. But we do get Aerial Ace, and that is a sign that we need Togetic. That is a huge sign that we need Togetic. And what is over here? Just grant. Oh, it's just a honey tree. It's just a lovely honey tree, so we're not even going to touch it. And there should be one more trainer, I believe, up here. Nope, no more trainers. No more trainers, but we do have berries, and I really want to grab them. Really want to grab all these berries. We're not even going to replant them. I just want them. I just want my berries. So this isn't even my main game. This is just like a side playthrough that I'm doing for the YouTube channel. My main game, I'm taking all the berries. And we replant them all. That's a big old fact. That's a big old fact that we're replanting them all. There's this. There's that. And give me this last two raw berries. I think raw berries heal burn. So they're pretty solid. So there we go. Finish that up. This route. And yeah, we got time to do the gym. Because I believe the gym is just like a straight up walk up to it. And then it's just like, okay, let's do it. We make our way here and it's Barry here. I feel like Barry's like here. Team Galactic's here. And what is this thing again? Oh, that's a great marsh. So that's the Safari Zone, basically. You can go there. I haven't been there post-game. I think the Pokemon do change, but the Pokemon there right now is nothing too special. You could catch a Carvine. You can catch a Marill in there. Uh, what else can you catch? I'm not too sure, but there are a few different Pokemon that you can only catch there as of right now. But there we go. Restore our squad. And yo, let's just do the gym. I think we could do it. I think it's just like a right away thing. Let me check the map. Let me see the uh, the goal. Defeat the gym leader. Yeah, I told you guys. You just walk straight up here and you just face off with the gym. So let's just do it. Let's just do it. Let's to let's let Togepi carry us to yet another gym badge. Now I'll be halfway through all the gym badges, which is really good. And there's a lot of trainers here, which I really, really like. Which I really like. That's a good amount of XP that we can get. So let's head here first. Loop around and go verse our first trainer, which is right here. 
How you doing, little Timmy? How you doing, little Timmy? So I'm gonna say Swimmer Timmy. That's gotta be his name. We haven't guessed a name yet of somebody. Let's see. Tuber Jackie. I shouldn't know Tuber. Swimmer has the, like, the swim gear on. And Buizo's gonna fly out here, and we love to see these water types. We love to see these water types, but I'm trying to think of the Pokemon on the gym leader team. I think he might have a Floatzel. I'm pretty sure he does have a Gyarados. So that's good to know. That's good to know. Aqua Jet's gonna fly through here, and Togepi needs a little bit more speed on him. Needs a little bit more speed on him, but Shockwave is going to do enough damage to take out these guys. And they do have a nice little boost in uh, levels here. Thir or 26, that ain't too bad. I think the gym leader's highest level might be 32. 32, 33, I believe. But I believe Togepi should be fine, which is like clutching this up. Let's take this out. Drop that. And then make our way towards here. So we can loop back around and go this way. And this, uh, this gym puzzle is pretty straightforward. It's nothing too hard. You kind of just follow the path. And you'll pretty much have everything done. So let's go over here. Talk to this guy real quick. And just do the battle. As you know, we need the XP. We need all the XP we can get. But I'm telling you guys, we are evolving Togepi in today's episode. No ands, ifs, or buts. No ands, ifs, or buts. And I'm pretty sure Barbara Roach has ground typing in him. So we are not going to use him unless you move on. I'll just gleam him up. I'll just gleam him up. He's going to drop a water pulse. That's easy eats, baby. You better not give me the ducks. You better not duck me up. And what you mean? Just told you, don't give me the ducks. Togepi, you're better than this. You're better than this. Don't hurt yourself. There you go. Gleam it up here. Should be able to two gleam this thing. Or one it. Dazzle Gleam is so strong. I forget the power of Dazzle Gleam because I'm always playing double battles. And when you hit two Pokemon at once, it does less damage. But this is Dazzle Gleam's strong move. I think it's like, what was it? Base 80, base 90? It's a powerful move. It's a powerful move. But take out that trainer. Let's raise the water levels and get our move on. Go down this way, and then I believe we can just walk straight back over here. Yeah, and then up here towards uh, Sailor Sailor Bill. It's got to be named Sailor Bill, right? Sailor Bill sound, sounds right. Sailor Damien. Oh, come on, man. I would never guess Damien. Wingle pops out here. We're going to be four times super effective. Wingle will get taken out in one shot. No problem. We don't mind going up against Wingles, Pelipers, or Gyarados. Anything flying in water, hand it over here. So he's gonna roost turn one? Well, what was that? You don't deserve to be a gym trainer here. You don't deserve to be a gym trainer if you're roosting turn one. Crazy. Get him out of here. Get him on out of here. We don't need him here. We don't want him here. Get some more XP and we're slowly going up. Another Wingle is going to pop. We might only get one level from Togepi here, but we're getting a lot of battles in. So that could be good for our level. That could be good for our level here. Shockwave's gonna fly. Built later, Wingle. And Sailor Damien is done. I believe there's like two more trainers in the end of the dude. But yeah, we're flying through today's video. We're getting a lot of content in here. So hopefully you guys are enjoying. If you are, make sure you like up the, today's video. Like up all the videos you guys watch on any YouTube channel if you do enjoy them. Because it really does uh, help out the creator a lot. It really does. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing. Consider subscribing. But uh, let's go here. Let's first. Uh, we already versed a uh, tuber Jimmy Jack over there. But now we got uh, his sister. I'm going to say uh, tuber... Danielle. I don't know why. Danielle's popping in my mind. Caitlyn. Howdy, Caitlyn. So we got Azuro. Oh, I love a good old Azuro. But the worst part is this thing's going to give us like 3 XP. I think it's going to give us like 73 XP. Not even going to lie. Something really low that we do not want. Shockwave's going to pop. Togepi doing work. Get after it, Togi. Azuro's going to use Tail Whip. Wow, 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 wow. And they're going to drop our defense, but it's all good considering... We come in hot with more shockwaves. And Togepi does outspeed, which is good. There's there's not many Pokemon where Togepi outspeeds. Oh, there's KO. Watch how much XP we get. 118. Oh, that's slow. Better than 73, though. We're going to send out Marill, which we are going to fight. Let's do it. Marill will give us a little bit more XP. Let's go into another shockwave. And just rip up these water types, man. Togepi doing people dirty, yo. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Aqua Tail is going to come in here. And I think the tail moves look so sick. Every single tail move. Iron Tail, Dragon Tail, Aqua Tail. I think that's all of them. But they look so sick because the Pokemon just does like a full whip around. Slaps you up with the tail. And it does big damage. All of them are usually high base damage with like a lower accuracy. But Tuber Caitlyn out for the count. Let's give her Togepi yet another potion. But yeah, we've been rolling with Togepi. We haven't really used anybody else. We used like Houndoom once and like uh... And uh... What's it called once? Well, it's all once. Togepi's just been doing this on his own. Really being a great Pokemon for a squad. That's why I cannot wait for it to bomb. It's just going to be 10 times stronger. 
Talk to this guy. We got this trainer, and I think one more, and then gym leader week. Gym leader week. And then we do get a good water move from him, which we could give to our, uh, what's it called? We could give to our Floatzo. Our Floatzo could really benefit from that. But just know, when Togepi evolves, we probably have to use the other Pokemon for a little bit. Because all because Togepi's going to be a higher level than everybody. Shockwave coming through. It's hitting a lot harder. It's hitting a lot harder. It's just because he's such a high level. Almost, almost 36. Going to be 36 by the end of this. And Gyarados coming out of here. We love versing Gyaradoses. They give us a bunch of XP. And we might be able to one-tap this one. Actually, probably not. We weren't able to one-tap a level 22 one. So, let's see. Gyarados is going to use Whirlpool. Trap us in a pool of whirls. And that moves I. Right. It's good if you're like rock and protect or like just trying to do like slow chip damage. But like single player, when you're doing story mode, it ain't that's nothing special. It ain't nothing special. Let's do this. Let's just go into another shockwave. And we'll off from there. Scary face. He's gonna drop my speed. He's gonna drop my speed. Even though you're already faster, so that was a dumb play by you guys. Now shockwave comes in here, does not miss. Later, skater, give me all the XP. Come on, yo, show me level 36. Show me level 36. Give it to me. So close. So close. You're going to send out Barbaroach, and we're going to keep battling here. We're just going to whip up some Dazzling Gleams. Whip up some Dazzling Gleams. Barbaroach is going to be faster than us. But Dazzling Gleams should kill us. Should be able to kill it. Bulldoze is going to slow us down again. It don't matter. We're, we're, our speed's already in the dumps. It's already a slow Pokemon to begin with. Dazzling Gleams going to fly out here. Yo, kill it. Yes, sir. Togepi broken. All right, this should give us level, and we are hoping we got fingers crossed here. No, it does not give us level. It gives Houndoom a level, though. We were hoping that we can get the Evo. We were hoping that the Evo could pop through. But it does not. It does not. On to the next thing. Let's hit this button. And it should be one more trainer, right? Is this the right way? What's this do? This will raise it this way. And should be able to go all the way around. Yep. All the way around this way and then talk to the last trainer here let me give a potion real quick actually we won't need a potion let's talk to this last trainer then we hit this button it will raise the levels to the highest thing and then we can go verse the gym leader awesome 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 see how many this guy has he has three pokemans sailor samson now that's a good sailor name that's a good sailor name shell is gonna pop out here let's rip through it we've been killing so many pokemon like our levels got to be super close like, our friendship level's got to be super, super close. Shockwave's going to fly. Can we kill this one? I don't think we can. Shells has a decent, decent defensive stat. Or special defense, I should say. Mud Slap's coming through here. That's going to lower accuracy, isn't it? Yep. But, but, but we are using a uh, nice, lovely Shockwave, which never misses. So our accuracy could be low. It could be awful. And we will never miss with this thing. That's what's so good about certain moves like this. Swift. Like, people can double team. They can smoke screen. They can do all that stuff. And we will never miss with that move. Topi gets 36. And what move does he want to learn? Safeguard. Oh, I kind of want to learn Safeguard. But at the same time, nah, I don't want to learn Safeguard. Safeguard's a very good competitive move. That's why this Pokemon is so good and competitive. So good. So good. So this thing can learn Safeguard. I believe it can learn some screens, but usually you won't really use screens with it. It can learn Follow Me. It can learn Dazzling Gleam to hit hard. You can build it two different ways. Build it for a support role, which it works phenomenally. Or build it as a special attacking one, which works phenomenally. They're both very, very good. Tokus is a top tier Pokemon all around in any competitive game. In any competitive Pokemon game, there's just always a spot for them. Stats are great. Move pools are great. Just all around. All around a unit. And I'm actually glad they did that because, like, Togepi and Togetic were, like, never really used. If they didn't, ne if they never gave Togetic an evolution, that Pokemon would never be used. It would never be used. Shockwave is going to fly out here. We are leveled up. So we're hoping with all these KOs from this gym right here that we should be able to evolve here. And that would be huge. I would absolutely love it. Let's make it happen here. Let's make it happen. Like I said, if we do not evolve by the end of this gym, we're going to go make Puffins and we're evolving them. Let's see. Evolve. Oh my lord. What you mean? What you mean? All right. It's time for gym battle. Time for gym battle. Let's give this thing a potion. And we might give it an ether as well. Of course, we do not have an ether, so we're going to be thriving here. It's okay. Togepi's going to lead us off. Let's finish off this gym. Dude, how isn't this thing not evolving yet? It's crazy. It is just crazy to me. 
even though we can't evolve until toge uh togekiss till later which we're actually coming up close on what is it after the sixth gym yeah we're coming up close on because the fifth gym we can walk right to and the sixth gym we can just walk right to as well so it's not that hard it won't be too long till we have a shiny stone that's where we get our shiny stones after the sixth gym we got our shiny stone so we definitely need a toge take by that time intimidate flying out here let's go togi do him dirty yo you got that shockwave you should be able to two tap this thing he's gonna go for an ice fang which is easy eats baby all day togepi oh oh what is this what is this that's disgusting that is disgusting he freezes me the odds of that happening he's gonna rock another ice fang can we thaw out here thaw out would be lovely mm. Mm. let's go for another shockwave is he going for another ice fang he's gonna go that might kill us brian's gonna kill us oh thank the lord we thawed out we're gonna drop a nice lovely shockwave thank the lord togepi did not go down here let's heal togepi back up here with a potion and get rolling with there because we cannot let this thing die do we give him the max potion that's 60. uh now we'll save the max potion let's go let's go right here we do have tour terror once we get rid of gyarados all the other pokemon will be super easy to kill with tour terror which you might have to bring out here but we're gonna do that hopefully he's not using another brine He's using another brine. So we know we can eat up the brines. Brine is double damage when used at half health. Or like when somebody... Say Togepi was below half health, it was double damage. He's going to drop another Ice Fang. Please do not freeze me. Cool. Togepi's going to Shockwave. Gyarados, get on out of here. Beautiful. We take out the Gyarados. Give me the XP. Give me the XP. And we might swap Togepi here. For Torterra and have Torterra just run this. I'm thinking that's the play. Yes, Quagsire coming out here. We have to switch him to Torterra. Ground and water. Let's go tour terror here. Get the XP that way. And we're hoping we can bring Togepi to like this much to 37. Because then I can go play with it, friendly it up, and then level it up really easily and hope it evolves. The Quagsire is gonna pop here. We're just gonna be able to drop a lovely little rage leaf. And rage leaf is going to easily one tap this thing. Four times super effective. Get this thing on out of here. Dead. Get it gone. The Quagsire is dead. Everybody getting some good amount of XP there. Floatzel levels up 34. And then final Pokemon is going to be Floatzel. Is going to be this lovely little Floatzel. Hey, that was a good move, he said. <laughs> That's why I use it, buddy. That's why I use it. And Floatzel's only level 30. And I didn't really understand why Floatzel's only level 30, considering Lucario's level 30. Just makes no sense. But that Ice Fang's four times super effective on us. We gotta hope we land this Rage Leaf, which we do, and that's gonna be GG's. And that's gonna be GG's. Get him on out of here. Which I thought that the Floatzel was a higher level. I don't understand how the third gym and the fourth gym have the same level Pokemon. It just doesn't make sense. But there we go. We defeat Gym Leader Wake. Defeat our fourth gym. New badge is going to be added right below the face game. You guys already know that deal. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for today's video. But like I said, we want to go back to Amenity Square. We're going to make Puffins with this thing. And we are going to try to get the friendly level up because I'm sick of having a Togepi. In all honesty, I'm sick of having a Togepi. So we're going to get that friendly level up. And we are going to evolve this Pokemon. Or at least try to. Because who knows? I don't really want to spend like 10 hours doing this. Just evolve. So we'll see. We'll see. We're going to give it a try for sure. We have TM55s, so which is great. Brian's a solid move for early game. But we might give it to Floatzel. We might not. I feel like Floatzel will learn better moves all around. So we'll see. We shall see. But our team's looking good. Wait, let me see the levels on the team. We have 36 from the Togepi. 36 from Torterra. 34, 34. It's not, it's not like a substantial difference, so we're thriving really well here. We are thriving really well here. And we hop out of this gym, and I believe someone's going to say something to us. No, I guess not. Like I said, it's pretty much a straight shot. We go here, and it just says, uh, try exploring past the city, and we will do that afterwards right here. In the meantime, we are going to heal up. Actually, we can explore it right here because, obviously, the cutscene is right there. So we'll settle it, get that ready for the next episode, and then we'll go to a mini square. So I believe Puffins is the way to do it. I believe just like making puffins with your Pokemon or feeding them puffins. Maybe doing contests. Something along those lines will actually help it out. So let's go here. Let's go over here and trigger this cutscene. I believe it's you just like walk up here. Fuck this guy. Nope. It's not this guy. It's not this guy. Oh yeah, it is this guy. It is this guy. You just talk to him. And then it kind of just like triggers the cutscene. It's just like go to the lake. Do not follow me. Blah, blah, blah. And we do not have... Do we not have fly? I don't think we have fly yet. We have to go to Hearthrum City. So our best way would be, oh, probably looping all the way back around. That could be a pain. That could be a pain. That could be a pain. You know, we're going to make our way over there anyway. Because like I said, we want to buy this Pokemon. So I'm just going to cut to there and I'll see you guys over there.
After the long journey back to Hearthroom City, we got the puffin case and we are going to cook some puffins for this dang Togepi. Let's do it right now. We need to level this thing up, but we got to give it a few berries in order to cook. We're going to put a raw berry in there. Actually, we're going to go two raw berries alongside with an orange berry and a chesto berry. How about that? That looks like a great friendly uh, puffin recipe right there. But I never, I never did this before, so we're throwing them in the pot and this is just a first time thing. I know we got to like stir and stuff and things, but you know, we're doing this. Yeah, we gotta stir this way. Yeah, nice little stir. How fast do I have to do it? I'm doing it like a like a decent speed right now. I don't know if I have to just start whipping this thing. Oh, it says the other way. Okay, let's cook this puffin up. Let's go. We're gonna cook a few puffins, feed it to the token beat, and level him up once. And if he doesn't want to evolve with that, then that's his problem. That is his problem. Then we're really not gonna focus on him anymore. I feel like if he doesn't level up after we put in all this effort, we just stop focusing on him and then he'll do it himself. Even though I really want him. Even though I really want him to evolve. But this thing's kind of tedious, I guess. We just go back and forth doing this. Like, come on, man. Come on, this is what we do. This is what we have to do. All oh, the puffins actually forming. Go burn away. Ooh, hurry. What do you mean, hurry? Did I have to spin faster? Is that what I have to do? Do I have to spin faster? I thought I had to spin at like a moderate speed. All right, I'm hurrying. Relax. There you go. We're spinning fast now. All done, baby. All done. So I guess we spin fast. Time it took a minute. Oh, that's a foul puffin. That's a foul puffin. That is some awful. Yeah, we want to continue cooking puffins. Let's try this again. So two raspberries, a cherry berry, and an orange berry. Let's rip it up, baby. Yo, I'm the puffin master. We're not making a foul one. Do I spin it fast? Let's go. We got this. We got this. I don't know if I spin it fast. Let's see how this one plays out here. Yeah, that's a good turn. It's a good slow down a little bit. Okay. There we go. That's looking perfect. That's looking perfect right there. There we go. Other way. Other way. There we go. That's looking good right there. That's looking like a good speed, jeans. We are on the ball here. Don't want to spin it too fast. That's looking money. Right there is the level. Right there. It's going to be the most perfect puffin ever. No overflows. Perfect speed. Don't want to overflow it. Yo, look at that. I think that line right there is where it's at. This puffin's looking like it's turned out pretty well here. Go spin it the other way. There we go. Come on. Come on. Can this thing be done? Do not want to overflow it. It's looking like it's almost done. Yo, it's got the colors and everything in it. Come on, baby. Finish this puffin up. All done. Yo, that's a good puffin, isn't it? Show me that puffin. Foul puffin? What you mean a foul puffin? I'll still feed it to my thing, but let's see if there's any recipes. Will these guys tell me any recipes? You got any recipes over here? Let's get cooking. Here's my advice. Cook a tasty puffin for your Pokemon crew. In the beginning, while it's still banter, swirl gently to avoid spillage. When it starts to harden, churn it fast in big circles. At the end, make a make a wish for it turn scrumptious, okay? And that's all that's all she said. So at the end, start whipping that thing. Let's go. Let's go. Raspberry. I do not want to use all my berries here. Do I have any twos? Let's go. I pop a. It's going to be the last puffin we make. If not, yo, Togepi's eating a bunch of foul puffins. I don't know how to feed Pokemon puffins. That's the real problem. That's the real problem. Start whipping this thing. Let's go whip it up. Slow down. Oh, I spilled it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's going to be a foul puffin, man. We stink at this. We stink at this puffin cooking, man. This is, this isn't my strong suit. Let me battle Pokemon. Nah, I'm not. I'm not a big fan of the puffin cooking. I know. Slow down a little bit. I'm just trying to stir this. I might have to look up stuff on how to cook puffins. If you guys have any tips, let me know in the comment section down below. Because this might be the last time we ever cook a puffin. <laughs> Jeans, the puffin master. Psych. We just cook foul puffins. I don't know if I sound like if I'm using a, a wrong recipe, but we did good on the last one. I thought I thought we were turning really well. We didn't get any like signals, like slow down or anything. And I'm burning this thing. This puffin sucks. This one's definitely going to the Togepi. Spin it, and there we go. All done. Another foul puffin, if I had to guess. Oh no, a dry sweet puffin. Beautiful. That's fine. No, we want to feed my. Togepi puffins. How do I do that? How do I feed your puffins? Hello there. How am I cooking? Uh, 
I should have asked her about telling me about cooking, but let's go into our puffin case. Can we feed them puffins from here? Would that be in our key item if I had to guess? Puffin case. Oh, we want to go back. Puffin case. Open. Oh, why do we have so many? We have so many. Let's just feed them all these dry sweet puffins. Give. They could be eat up. Munch, munch, munch. Oh, there he is. Yeah, we're just going to feed him a bunch of dry, dry puffins. He ate the puffin. There you go, buddy. We like spicy food, but his beauty and cuteness went up. Yo, eat up all these. Eat up all these puffins. Just scarf these things down. There you go, buddy. And we're going to level him up once. That's plan. We're going to go to that underground. We're going to level him up once. And if he doesn't want to bob after this, he can go pound sand. His sheen is sparkling. I don't know if that's good. Yo, eat up again. Munch, 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 munch. Munch, 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 munch. But they do say puffins is the way to do it. You feed him puffins alongside with the tooth belt, alongside with leading them, alongside with, uh, you know... Battling with him. His sheen's up, yo. I don't know if that's good. There you go. Hey, eat another puffin. Do I see what a foul puffin does? I don't know if that's the play. I don't think that's the play. Yo, he ate the, he ate the puffin yet again. We getting him higher and higher. We give him a foul puffin. Give him a foul puffin. Let's see what this does. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Might have messed up. Here you go, buddy. He ate it. Happily ate, happily ate the puffin. Oh, good work. You want another one? Dude, if you like these foul puffins, they're all yours, dude. They're all yours. He happily ate the puffin. Dude's munching. I think my cooking skills were doing him in good. Dude, let's just keep giving him all the puffins, yo. We want this thing to be munching. Want him to be stuffed, want him to be all happy and friendly, and then we level him up with a sneak attack to evolve him. Let's do it. Let's do it. Dude, this dude's munching. He plays no games. He has five little sheen points, which is cool. You want to eat more? I'll give him one more. I think one more is going to be key. Or do we just stuff his face here? I don't know. I don't know what the play call is. This is tough. He happily munches on the puffin again. Beautiful. He's getting a bunch of these sheen points. I don't even know what they do, but it looks like they're good. Eat up, buddy. Eat up, yo. We're just feasting this dude. He's back home at grandma's house, yo. Stuffing his face. Here, Togepi, you hungry? Have some more. <laughs> just stuffing him. You're going to eat it and you're going to like it. Give it to him again. All these puffins going straight to this dude's mouth. I thought the foul puffins wouldn't be good, but these things are doing more work than the, than the other puffins. So, my cooking skills are fire. We made the best puffins. Those lovely little foul puffins. Let's go. Two more puffins. You got it. He's, he's going for the puffin eating record right here. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> All right, yo. If we do not level up this way, this is nuts. Sheen is high, dude. I don't even know what the sheen is, but, yo, it's doing it. It's, we're doing it in with that. Hey, yo, here's a beautiful puffin. Dope, dope, dope. Togepi happily ate the puffin. Beautiful, yo. He is looking spiffy with all the sparkles there. We're out of puffins for you, though. Which means it's time to go level you up. It is time to go level you up. You should be following me. Yes, he is. Let's head to that underground area. Because you know the underground gives all that good old XP. And we're getting one level out of him. One level and one level only. He has one shot at this. He has one shot at this. So far, all of our Pokemon pretty much been evolving in the underground. And it's been working well for us. So let's see if he can do work here. I'm going to head to this. Is this Fountain Spring Cave right here? No, it's a Space Cave. Let's see. Let's find something that he can just piece up on. If fairy moves, we have... No, 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 not a Murkrow. Not a Murkrow. Do we fight the Murkrow? We do have electric. We do have electric. We really do not want to fight the Murkrow. But we do have electric, so we are going to go after this thing. He's going to after him. He's going to use assurance E. We eat up. Actually, the Murkrow isn't bad. Why do I think Dark was super effective to him? Why do I think that? But Shockwave's going to come out here. And one more Shockwave will do him dirty. Finish him off here. Get all that XP. Air Cutter's going to fly through your watch. He's going to get crit. Ooh. Oh. He didn't get a crit, luckily. And now Shockwave's going to finish it all. Give me the level. Give me the level. It's actually going to be cutting it close. I don't even think we're going to get the level here. So close. We got we to give him a potion. We got to give him a potion here. Hit him with that potion. Heal this dude up. Where my potion's at. That's a revive. Super potion on the Togepi. Let's roll out. Is there another Murkrow or something we can take out? And I would love to. No, not a Machop. Not a Machop. I feel like a Machop will give us a little bit of work. But you know that these Pokemon are high level. These Pokemon are high level. 
Let's see what they got cooking over here. Another Murkrow. There's a Babiro. I do not mind taking on a Babiro. I don't want to. What's the other one? That's a Golbat. Golbat or Babiro? Let's go Babiro here. Let's go Babiro. I feel like the Golbat's a little scary. It does have poison typing on him, so we're not going to be pushing that thing. Let's do a Babiro. Babiro, you're going to get it. We just have to make sure Togepi doesn't die. Let's go here. Drop a nice little Shockwave. Get that stab damage rolling here. He's going to use you on. Oh, uh, that's a little scary. I'm not even going to lie. Do we have an Awakening? Awakening wouldn't help us out here. Unless we could two tap him with a shockwave, but I don't think we can. Doing a little bit of damage. It's a three, it's a three move kind of thing. It's a three move turn here. He's gonna drop a takedown. Ooh, that's looking a little scary. Oh! Togepi! We're gonna swap Togepi out here. Or we get a crit here. Ooh, let's swap Togi. We're slumped. We are slumped, but we need the Evo here. We need the Evo here. Let's go into our Floatzel. Floatzel will be able to finish this thing off easily. And this is our last shot. We're ending the video after this. Like I said, if we do not evolve him, I'm going to be pretty upset. I'm going to be pretty upset. Floats is going to fly out here. He's going to use takedown. That would have killed Togepi. Good thing we swapped him. This thing's hitting hard. He actually kills himself with recoil. It's all good. It is all good. But, yo, it is time. The Puffins are going to pay off here. The Puffins are paying off here. Level up by Togepi. Tour Terror levels up as well. Come on, Togepi. Evolve right here, right now. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yes! We did it! We finally did it! Togepi with the Evo! The Puffins worked! I told you, I was sick of it. We're evolving Togepi into Togetic, and that is exactly what we did. This is amazing. This is my favorite video we've recorded so far. Finally got this thing's friendship level up. Took us 37 levels. Took us 37 levels. That is awesome. I believe it will learn a move. Fairy Wind. That's a solid move right there. Let's forget a move. Actually, what does Fairy Wind do? Do we even want that? It's only 40. We have Dazzle and Gleam. We get rid of Metronome. I kind of like our moveset here. We're going to teach this thing Aerial Ace, so let's get rid of Fairy Wind. We do not want that. Perfect, perfect, fur, perfect. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. As in the next episode, we're going to be making our way towards the fifth gym, maybe defeating it, I'm not sure, but more importantly, using our brand new Togetic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.